Um, did you sense with your players at all that you need to work on them mentally, that they're at all satisfied from their accomplishment of winning the West, or do you think there's you know, immediate buy-in to this idea of like you must win Saturday and put the pedal down? We're going to always be pedal down mentality here. I'm never going to take my foot off the gas. Let's go, boys. Let's go. You want to be a champion, though? You win the West. Every game in the West, we got to win. All right? That starts with us right from the jump. We'll, we'll rest and, and recharge, or whatever you want to call it, in January. Uh, this is football. This is not uh, NBA basketball or Major League Baseball, where you know he's just a little bit tired, so we're going to give him a rest. This is college football. There's the Land of Lincoln Trophy, the stovepipe hat waiting to go back on its shelf here in Evanston. It has lived here for the last several years. It's a big game. We've got, obviously, goals ahead of us that we want to achieve. And for us to achieve those goals, we've got to go one more this week. And that's, that's our why. But I'll tell you what, Pat Fitzgerald's team continuing this season, and what a year it has been for the Northwestern Wildcats, and that year's not done. You guys ready? Sir! Champions, champions, champions. That's who we are. Let's go play that way. Sound good? Come on, let's go. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. You know, earlier this week we were talking about blocking out the noise, but it appears the Cats are actually embracing the noise. Not a whole lot of respect for your Big Ten West Division champs. Northwestern opened up as a favorite in this game. They're already two and a half point underdogs before kickoff. Newspapers are all picking the Gophers to win this game. And if you thought the Cats were going to mail it in, they came out shirtless in warm-ups in this 22 degree weather. Ranked nationally for the first time this season, the Wildcats embrace the elements with nothing but a chip on their shoulder. This has been a week of disrespect for us, okay? I wake up, I don't usually read the paper. I ask the guys I'm meeting with, they go, coach, you gotta read the paper. Open it up. I don't even know why we came up here. I don't even know why we came up here, all right? I wanna start this thing fast. The minute we walk out in the building, let's get this thing on. They want something, they're gonna get something out from us, okay? defense made the early statement with Nate Hall intent on leaving no doubt in his final Big Ten road game. And that's intercepted. Nate Hall picked it off the ground. Morgan throwing again. Intercepted. Second time that Nate Hall has picked off Tanner Morgan. They put Lee's in motion, but it all sets up the Thorson pass. And it's caught. What an effort. Cameron Green went up to grab him. Bowser, patient, touchdown, Northwestern. First year, Isaiah Bowser found the end zone for the fifth time in five games to get things going for the Wildcats. He'd get plenty of more chances for a sixth. Isaiah Bowser outside, he bounces it. He's a shifty fella. Man, I'll tell you. On the ground, and does not pay off. And then Bowser gets through. Credit that offensive line because this Northwestern defensive front is pretty stout. By the second quarter, the Gophers were putting together a successful drive and on the doorstep of tying the game. A tough loss for the Wildcats, their top target. What's the latest on Flynn Nagel? Yeah, I'll give you the bad news first. He has been officially ruled out of this game today. However, the good news, he's walking around, no crutches, and that's certainly a good sign moving forward. 
making his 50th consecutive start, just one shy of the Big Ten record for quarterbacks, Clayton Thorson would be without his top target, but still found plenty of success through the air. He would prove to be just as dangerous on the ground. Hey, and then if I pull it, you need to go block it. Yeah, they got Chad Hanna Oka, but it's a keeper for Thorson, and nobody's home from Minnesota. Touchdown Northwestern, Clayton Thorson fooled everybody in TCF Bank Stadium. Okay, let's keep taking our shots on them. Let's keep go body blow, body blow, body blow. This is a big drive right now. Okay, be ready to go to some two-point plays at some point in the second half. Okay, you guys go set the tone for the second half. This is right here, set the tone for the whole second half. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Uh, the Cats know they've got the lead here. They're gonna get the ball first and a chance to further cement that lead. It's time for the crowd. First down just shy of the 50 by Bennett Scarano. Yeah. Inside the 40 and down to the 36 is Ramon Jampio Bowman, the Minneapolis native. The snap to Clayton. Has time, throwing the near side, and it's caught at the 45 40 and breaking away to the 25 20. JJ Jefferson. Bowser through the left side, weaves his way to the end zone. Touchdown! Isaiah Bowser with his second touchdown today to throw under pressure. Eludes a man, rolling right now, throwing, caught in the back of the end zone for the two-point conversion. It's Cameron Green. Hey, juicy outside line! Juicy outside line! With punter Jake Collins serving as the team's third kicker of the year due to injury, the Cats added to the lead. The defense would handle the rest. Pressure this time. this right here, the young man from Massachusetts. And you know, they talked about, they said, Gaziano, he said, that guy can ruin a ball game. You know what, I think he just ruined it. Uh, hate to get tackled by a quarterback, that sucks. Oh well, hey, next time I'll score. <laughs> and that will be the case. Northwestern Lynch is back to make it home. And the defense, which has been so stout all season long for Pat Fitzgerald does it again that time it's Ernest Brown. Pat Fitzgerald and the Wildcats have won 13 of their last 14 Big Ten games. Last seven Big Ten games on the road. I mean that is spectacular. Unbelievable. Yeah if they hang on here that you're right eight straight Big Ten road victories. I mean there is just an unbelievable brotherhood that is special, and I don't want you to take it for granted. Okay, I don't want you to take it for granted. We can't. We had a great week of preparation, didn't we? Yeah. Okay, now we shot ourselves in the foot a little bit in, in all three phases. We'll get that cleaned up. But that was a business-like approach. That was a championship-like approach. We came in with focus. We got ready last week. We came up here focused, ready to go, and we got the dub. All right? Let's take it up a notch now next week. Like we talked about, this is a three-week, right? Championship prep last week. Championship prep this week, championship prep for the championship game. Okay? So whatever you did this week, do it a little bit smarter. Really look at how you prepared mentally and physically and emotionally. And it's our senior senior day. And we're playing our butts off to keep that beautiful hat where it belongs. And that's with us. Okay? You think you have? You used to do morning uh, morning film. What'd you say? So you used to do morning film. Yeah, I still have my mind. All right, here we go. Rivalry week. All right, Nate, what's your record against Illinois? Three and zero as a player, right? Okay. We got to send him off on the top four and zero against the in-state rival. Okay. This game's about him. The rest of the seniors on this defense. Let's plan that way, let's prepare that way, and let's play that way. Everyone got me there? Okay, all right. Get out the cut up, the notes for practice here. 
Assistant coach Tim McGargle is preparing the Northwestern linebackers for the final game of the regular season with a senior day matchup against Illinois. McGargle returns not only as the program's leader in career tackles, but as the FBS record holder with 545 in his four years as a Wildcat. In his first season back, he's seen the younger talent of Blake Gallagher already approach 100 tackles on the year, leading the team. Captain Patty Fisher has been the reliable presence in the middle, while Nate Hall looks to cap his impressive career in Evanston with one more win at Ryan Field. Okay, everybody good there? All right, let's go to some of the must-see things we got to see here real quick. They have, not in this set, but in other sets, have shown times where if you're the Sam, he comes at you, he shows you hands, and he tries to work in any direction. If he puts his hands up in you in any capacity, lock him up. You know why? Because they are a quarterback run team, and if he hands you, okay, and then tries to sneak out, once the safety sees hands on you, his eyes are going to the quarterback to be able to play that little crease right there, okay? Just base rules, all of those little details, okay, apply this week. That is the game plan right there. Any questions? Hey, real quick. Nate's not in here right now, but everybody, okay, whether you're on the scout team, the scout special teams, whatever it takes, this week we got to up it a little bit, up it a little bit for senior day, for his last game at home before we get ready to go to Indy. Everybody got me? Okay, let's have a good week. For Patty Fisher and Travis Willock, this season is the first that they've shared the field of Big Ten play since arriving at Northwestern, something that the lifelong friends from Katy, Texas, have been waiting for since 2015. Their journey to this day started in the first grade. I don't know, we just kind of just went with the flow and just, it was always football, like it was just nothing else. It was like we were always playing, playing football. We would play uh, football like in the backyard. We'd play to 100 by ones. 50 was our halftime. We'd, we'd spray paint end zones like of the teams we were going to be. We'd get the jerseys. We were going all out. And we would even like make like mini broadcasts. Like we'd get a camera and like we'd be like the analyst or whatever and like speak about like upcoming games. Good eyes. Hey, good eyes. Good eyes. Good talk. Good talk. Good talk. Keep talking, Zoe. Keep talking. Talking, Analysts today are becoming more and more aware of Willock's playmaking ability in the Northwestern secondary. Haven't been able to do that much. Just the one touchdown, and there's a nice tackle in the backfield by Travis Willock. That was a great tackle. For me, like, I hadn't played competitively in three years. Like, 2015 was the last time I really stepped on a field and, like, uh, was contributing to it to my team and here 2018. Uh, he's, he's a pretty good player. You know, we, we've been just so frustrated for him and with him battling through injuries here to start his career. You know, we knew we were getting two great players out of Katie when we got Patty and Trav. I mean, we knew we were getting two really, really good players. And, um, you know, it's great. He, he went from a guy that we had hoped would be, you know, in the mix to compete at safety, but more importantly, very involved in a kicking game early in the year, and he still was battling through injuries. And, and now to get healthy at the right time, he's, he's, he's a really good football player. Obviously, it was frustrating that I couldn't play, but I think it allowed me to have just kind of a new appreciation and a new perspective on what my role was for that year. And it, it sucked so much not being out there and not being able to help contribute and help the guys win. But, um, Nothing made me more happy than seeing him shine. Great instincts there by a middle linebacker. Fisher's breakthrough season in 2017 earned All-American honors, while Willock remained on the sideline. It was tough for me because, you know, my path was was going this direction and his was this direction with with getting back uh, with injury and stuff. And, you know, everything in my, my path was just going so fast and I couldn't just, like, sit down and stop and just, like, do everything in my willpower to help him out. Hey, he's on the line. Watch the white hide. Ah! Wait. Back together as vital parts of a stout Wildcat defense. Very little has changed from their days in Texas. When you watch the tape, this dude's just always around the ball. 
And whether that's causing fumbles or making tackles or making TFLs or making sacks, he just, he finds a way to get around the ball. And I just think that work ethic instilled in him, really instilled in us since we were at a young age, has really helped him keep growing as a player as well. I think the school echoes, you know, our persona and our personality and our character traits too. And, you know, we kind of resonate um, very highly with, with the, the culture here and the culture back home. It's senior day. One final walk under Ryan Field and a chance for this class to finish undefeated against its rival. Hey, see how it goes in the season, the end of the season. So we want to win the West. We want to just win the West, we want to sweep the West. Yeah. Well, today, we take the entire West. Oh, yeah. We dominate the entire division. Oh, yeah. And we put our stamp in the ground oh, yeah. and say, this is us. Oh, yeah. This is how we win games. All hands on deck. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Dominate on three, one, two, three. Dominate. With a trip to the Big Ten Championship still a week away, the Wildcats were here to win. And for Clayton Thorson, a victory lap is the program's all-time winningest quarterback. The first year running back from Ohio cut the field in half in the first play from scrimmage. into the backfield. And back to throw and play Thorson here on second and goal. Fires left side of the end zone. Touchdown, Bennett Skoranek. Clayton Thorson with career touchdown pass number 57. Skoranek with his third touchdown of the season and the Wildcats strike first. So for Illinois, they know this is their last game. The senior quarterbacks had a fine season on the ground for Illinois. In fact, he's outrushed every other quarterback in the Big Ten Conference this year. Illinois didn't back down after the early deficit. Mounting drives into Wildcat territory, but ultimately settling for field goals. And Bowser turning up field, breaking tackles, looking for a first down. Rashawn Slater and company up front really doing the job to open up a gap for Bowser. Third and there, it's Thorson on the sneak. And Clayton Thorson in for the touchdown. Ramon Jalkeo Bowman. 14 more for Chad Hanaoka. There's an experienced move right there by a fifth year senior walk on. Looks to throw. Thorson throwing to the end zone. Touchdown! Riley Lees. All alone in the end zone. Second touchdown pass today for Clayton Thorson. Really, this is exactly what you want if you're a Northwestern. Clean first half, now you just gotta finish it. Boy, soft play action deflected and intercepted by Patty Fisher. That could have been a game saver. What a play. But I'll tell you what, Pat Fitzgerald's team continuing this season, and what a year it has been. And that year's not done. Hey, how about for the seniors, man? Hey, man, great team win. Four in a row, we got the hat. That's all that matters for those seniors, and I'm incredibly proud of them. We had a lot of guys that had to step up and play big roles today. We've got to help you a little bit, give you some better calls, give you a better chance to be successful. We had a lot of guys do that. But no one will give us a chance. Just like when things were tough early, people started jumping out, nobody gave us a chance to any of it. And this band of brothers banded together. And now it's this band of brothers' opportunity to go do something that's never been done here before. We're going there to become Big Ten champs. So get that in your mind, get that in your heart. Let's get that in our drive right now. There's one reason why we're going to Indianapolis, and that's to go be Big Ten champions. In order to win the West, and represent the West Division in the Big Ten Championship, we felt like we needed to beat every team in the West. Going into a game like this, you know, this is a place we've never been, um, but at the same time, you know, um, we just got to go and play our game. Hey, you guys started this in January, now it's time to finish in December. Big Ten Champs on three!